Okay, so we are about to enter Eat Village, which is my favorite um, area of the game. This is where Mid and High Cast um, citizens hang out. has a population of 40,000. Um, as you can see, it's not a very big district. So, so how do, how do 40,000 people live here? Well, vertical uh, <laughs> vertical living room. That's, that's the way. Um, so... Let me go ahead and kill that half point so that I can get off my screen. But yeah, we are officially um, in Eden Village now. Even though I, oh, there it is. There had to be like a way through here. But yeah, um, as soon as you come out, um, the opulence hits you like a brick. Um, so, This is another one of Dogen's guys. And another boardroom. And yeah, it's just a very outdoorsy kind of office building this one is. Definitely one of the best design. And then take the steps here. And this is my favorite room in the entire game. Because you've got two chairs here, you've got a view of the surrounding city. You would have had a view of the Bobble Mall. Uh, well, you do have a view of the Bobble Mall, it's just blown up. You also have a view of the Shard. Um, and that's the billboard that I was on earlier that I hacked. <laughs> that took like forever to get to the top. Um, and. Uh, more buildings uh, I mean more doors the rest of the ram and speed through but yeah it just has a great view and then when the Anansi buildings finished you get that view too well it won't be finished but you know but this is pretty much all Bryson so Bryson these guys know opulence like you wouldn't believe like just get a taste of that minimalist office space within the minimalist office space like it's super cool um and that is explorable so we will go there um i just want to see where all these little doors lead all right so it looks like this is taking us back yeah that's crystal valley like literally right over there borders are pretty thin between the two nope. so some warmer colors that you don't really see down here at all and then, of course, properly scaling the building so we don't break our legs. That's important. And there's a little fan. Turn you into mincemeat. That's another shortcut back to Shimmering Heights through this office building here. And this is the Bobble Mall. So as you can see, you're super close to it. Wouldn't have been an easy way to get to it though. And this is an example of one of those outdoor lounge areas. So you just come up here on the uh, elevator and you can just take a seat here and just enjoy the sights and sounds the city at large so another thing that I really like about this city is um, or this district is how much it reminds me of Ilium um, and Ilium 
as a city from the Mass Effect franchise. Um, it was actually an alien city, um, the Asari, one of their big cities. And um, it's just this uh, huge marketplace, like anything goes. And um, yeah, it's a pretty, it's definitely my favorite location. Like Beckenstein was kind of like a suburb, but this place, this place was awesome. And like you literally spawn out on like a, a rooftop um, pad where you, you know, land your ship, your shuttle. And it's great. And this reminds me a lot of Ilium, but it has just that modern earthy touch to it, you know. So this looks like the uh, CEO's office. Probably not like the CEO, probably the head manager. Because um, I think all of the main corporate offices are in Cascadia Prime. Which we still haven't seen in the Mirror's Edge franchise yet. We haven't seen Cascadia Prime, but... Um, as you can see, the gentleman here is literally about to uh, stress the fuck out or fall asleep. But he looks like he just got some really bad news. So he could have been demoted, uh, which happens a lot in this society. Like if you don't perform, you're done. Like um, it's a very cutthroat, hyper-capitalist society. Um, and there's always <clears throat> someone that wants to take your spot. So whether you're like one of the 13 families and you're trying to like grab more market share so you can get more voting rights on the um, on the council or just a regular Joe Schmo in the rat race, you know, just trying to chase riches. Um, that is what Cascadian civilization is about. It's literally about consumerism taken to its maximum degree. When I said earlier about how this is the final step of um, corporate libertarianism, that's what I mean. Like it's it's literally at the point to which no one knows um, what's going on. You know what I mean? Like it's to the point where the corporations have so much power that no one really knows or, or questions what's going on. I might be able, I might be able to ball run in there. Nope. Oh. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, cause, oh wait, that's glass? Well, no, no, I don't think it's all glass. Well, I mean, what's the harm in finding out really? But yeah, it's, it's all consumerism, it's all opulence. And that's like how um, the uh, families of Cascadia continue to roll because look at like all of this shit, you know, like if you're one of the lucky few to get promoted, um, and you move up from low class to mid class to high class, which rarely happens. You, you would be lucky if you made one jump. You know what I mean? Like to go from low to mid cast. That's a huge jump, and you may never get past mid cast or mid to high, and that's a huge jump. Um, but you don't have the same protections as the family members do. So like, you fucking up is different. From one of them fucking up, you know what I mean? Like nepotism is a very uh, prominent theme in uh, in the game. Okay, no, I literally destroyed myself. I I didn't think that was glass, but I had to test it. <laughs> so yeah, I literally just destroyed myself. But yeah, it's an open window, but I don't really see there being a way, at least from this direction, to like get up there. Maybe if we cross the buildings. Yeah, because you can't really see the open window, and even if you did, like it's a border. You know what? I probably couldn't get in there. Because it's a um, it's planet with like filler people, and filler people usually denotes areas that you can't access. Even though the window's open. 
But yeah, like just that little bit right there, um, the opulence of the office buildings and everything like that, like it's just real impressive. Um, so yeah, I actually came from this direction, so I don't want to go back. But yeah, this is how they get people to basically sell out because, you know, look at how good you live. <laughs> Just do what the conglomerate wants you to do and have it made, you know? So this this game offers a very strong critique of capitalism um, and the rebellion that occurs in the game as a result of corporate excess, corporate greed, the, the violation of, of people's autonomy from the Greyland facilities and the lies, right? Like, like the government is telling people that oh there's no water shortage or you know there's no energy shortage but that clearly isn't true and while there hasn't been any rolling blackouts yet that doesn't mean that later on down the road there won't be and that's kind of the point that all, uh, some of the characters in this game makes you know faith has always been like a rebel slash freedom fighter so it didn't take much for her to be convinced but um you know there are a lot of people who you don't really have to deal with personally because you know you only ever deal with other you know members of your cabal but there's a lot of uh, a lot of people in society who don't who don't get it you don't really see how they're being taken advantage of but yeah, um, this is like the coolest thing about the Bryson office. The Bryson office is basically just open air. <laughs> like, like there's really, there's barely any, um, any roof. And this table, I imagine would be like a receptionist area for people who get off the elevator. So you, you get off the elevator here and there's a reception area to your left. And then you know, benches and shit that you can wait on. But uh, we're gonna end up getting into trouble. Oh shit. That's what I get for trespassing. And again, I mean, once you max out, there's, there's really aren't any enemies that you can't beat in this game. Even, even the Sentinels. And the Sentinels are supposed to be, like, super tough. But yeah, that was, um, another busted leg situation. You can't go that way. Obviously, it's too far down. I think there may be like some way to get across. But yeah, like you just can't. It's too far down. Can't go that way. So, a non Z building run. Not sure if that's even possible. Oh. definitely come back here so it's really no point for me trying to explore it because you literally have to explore it to do the mission so let's get back to 
Rest of Eden. But yeah, you know, it's it's literally like just that kind of city, you know. It's the city of glass and you know there's Eden Village and um Project Kingdom and all of these different um grandiose terms they use to describe what it is that they're trying to do and what it is that they're trying to accomplish. sleep deprived or maybe I just have completely lost my sense of direction but I actually got like turned around for a bit. Oh god I'm still turned around. There we go. Hopefully the cops left. Not that there's too much to see in the Bryson building. Like the main bits are the art, the Bryson art piece that you'll find on a lot of their properties, which is their company logo, basically. And then here's the uh, top floor. And from here. Easily see the rest of glass, and so that's the office. <laughs> that's the boardroom that I fell to get in, and you see it like all of those stock people. So yeah, there's no way I was ever getting into that, even with the open window. another adjacent building here oh, oh, oh too much jump definitely gonna fill that one in the morning oh Thought I would have fucked that one up for sure So this is another high-end office building. Got some metal guys going on here. Yeah, this building, well, we're, we're still in the same building, but look how intricate that HVAC network is. Like, it's, it's crazy. And it's a bit of a maze because none of it really makes sense. Like, that's the cool thing about this design. Like, you've got this HVAC stuff here. And then there's like a freaking conference room, like right there. So if I was someone that was just casing the joint, I would end up everywhere. Well, technically I am someone that's casing the joint. That's kind of what we're doing here. But yeah, as you can see, these guys are dressed to kill.
So yeah, heading home. Um, that this, that race will take you back to um, the Zephyr Transit Hub. Yeah, tons of verticality here. I think I might be right on top of our uh, safe house, actually. Yeah, because the safe house is super close to the... Reflection building. Which is what this is. So we're getting pretty close to the view. The view is actually pretty straightforward. Right, it doesn't, the view doesn't have too many surprises in it. And it's uh, one of the smaller districts. But yeah, that takes us back to the Repulsa building. Um, so we are going to Head on over. Because through here is pretty much it. Like once you're through here, you're pretty much in the view. So this is the reflection building. Um, I th I think the technology was supposed to be banished and run through this building. Um, and this is the advertisement for Reflection. And it was basically, you know, it's... They didn't force everyone to get it, but everyone was going to get it because it was basically an upgrade to the beat, um... The beat link, I think it's called? No, the grid link, the grid link, yeah. It was an update to the grid link, so everyone would have got it, and the conglomerate would have been able to control people's minds. But some of these rooms don't make sense. Like those doors at the end, those are Kruger doors, that don't make sense. This whole room it makes no fucking sense, it's just chairs. And this room, it makes a little more sense because it's like a waiting area. It's got like a little art piece in the middle. So this room makes a little more sense. Um, but considering that this building is literally just to transition you between the view and uh, Eden Village, it makes sense why there's so much detail missing. But even this little building right here has some pretty nice design to it. And they're still sticking to like the tropes of uh, minimalism. So they're getting it right, you know, they're getting it right. It's, there isn't enough. Um... And yes, you do have to be careful. Like that. I fucked up. So this little guy right here, 
I don't know if I can just catch it on my way down. I should just be able to stick the landing or just playing Garbo. Yeah, there we go. Easy. All right, so we're almost there, actually. Yeah, no. top level okay and there's the view so i'm gonna stop the video um and then for the next episode it's going to be um the view so thank you guys take care and see ya